Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the program Modio and a few of the features and um, just generally how to use it. Obviously, quite a lot, I don't think a lot of people will need this video, but someone requested it and I do like to help um, help everyone out. So don't complain saying oh, I already know how to do this, I know how to do that, it's all simple, but it's just to help him. So um, first of all you're going to want to download it. So go to my website, the link is in the description. It's called globalmodding.webs.com at the top. So go on the resources tab, which is there, and then download Modio, which is there. You can download the complete tools package, it is included in there. Um, just click whichever one you want. That will open up in the new tab. My PC is going a bit slow at the moment, but it should open up in a sec. Oh, no. I don't think I clicked it. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, it does have a password. The password is global modding. Wait for that to go through. Then wait for the timer and download it. I've already downloaded it. So once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it. As on PC, is going a bit slow. And the first main feature, I would say, a lot of people don't really know what's up. By the way, if you're wondering where I got these files from, um, have a look at one of my other videos on how to use Export 360 or how to mod using a USB flash drive. Um, the first feature, which no one, everyone really misses, is drag and drop. You can drag and drop, which saves you a lot of time, rather than clicking file, open. Got to wait. My computer was going slow, as I said before. I think it might be because of the dream scene. I've got a video as my background. I reckon that'd be why. So just wait for that to load up. There we go. It's loaded up. And my profile picture's already changed, but you can extract the profile picture, save it in your documents, and then you can change it using the same process. By clicking inject. So you just click inject, wait for it to come up, click on the picture you want, click OK, wait a minute or two. Mine will take a bit longer than usual because my PC is going really slow. So just wait a second. And there it is. Oh, I think it again. And there it is. You can change the device ID um, to change it to whatever. Xbox you want to be registered to. Um, profile ID you don't need to change. That's only for game saves. You can null IDs, which will just put them all as um, defaults. Reload IDs. Um, you can save the ID set and then restore from another ID. Um, here is all the IDs you've got there. The details you can switch between your little tabs on the side there are details IDs um, you can share the file I can't because I'm not logged in um, you can rehash and resign it which makes it a lot easier than having another application to do that um, you can save it right from here file content you can extract all these files from the account from the profile rather like account right click extract file Saved. Yep. And that's now saved. Right. It also has download game saves. This is a good little feature because you can download any game saves for any game and most of them are completed or modded, so it just helps. So they're all here. There's just a few of them. There's a lot more. Type in any game you want. Call of Duty and a lot do come up. I'd say there's about 130 something I reckon for Call of Duty. 133 or something like that. Because it's quite uh, 113. Quite a few. For all different Call of Duties. There's a lot of World of War ones on here. For um, the Zombies mods obviously. But another good thing. Is the Explore Model Bugs. 
you can explore your devices so you don't need export or free Xbox 360 Explorer or 360 Explorer. Um, it can open memory cards or um, USB sticks, but you can't really browse it. It recognises it, but it won't browse. I'm not sure what it is. It could be an error. I'm not totally sure. You can chat with other people on the shell box. Sometimes it does say that it doesn't open because there's too many messages in there, but usually it does open. Recent files. It's a shortcut to all your um, recent files. Has a built-in web browser. So it just makes everything easier. I will say the web browser within this is quite slow, so I wouldn't use it. But it's still a bonus. Then you've got hex editor. Over you can hex edit the files rather than using an extra program. It isn't letting me open it this time. Um, usually it does work, but often my PC is going slow and it's just playing up, so I'm not sure why it ain't working. Um, put it into that. Another good thing is you'll find a game. you find any info about any game you want. I don't know why you would use this, but obviously it's better than not having it. It's better to have it than not to have it, but I really don't see a use for it. It just basically tells you a game description, the developer, the publisher, the genre and the rating. And then got Xbox 360 ISO viewer. You can have a look at Xbox 360 ISOs and change all the files in it. I haven't got any on my computer at the moment, so I can't really show you that. Then you've got all the game mods. 50 cent one. Um, there's loads. Gate 2, but instead of doing that, then open up, you can to quicken things again. Drag and drop my Red Dead Redemption. One onto there. And make it a mod file, it's just like a shortcut, it's a bit quicker. You've then got profile mod tools, the account tool is the handy one. Because I just extracted my account, but instead of doing it that way, you can load your profile. Load your profile in. Click when it loads. Click extract from the profile, and that will basically just extract your account into wherever you want to save it. Just got to wait for it to load. You can extract it. I've already extracted, it, so I don't need to save it. And then what you do is you will then click load account from the one you've extracted encrypt the account and change the game tag and you can change it to anything you want and then you basically just click save account make sure you click save before you encrypt then you encrypt it after you saved it then you inject it into the profile click yes that's done it all for you so now when you open your profile, my name would have changed. Wait for it to load. If you look, look at my profile, top X X X Snipes X X X. So um, that just changes your um, game tag for you. Just thought I'd show you that. Um, thanks for that, don't need that anymore. Make sure you rehash and resign it, by the way. Make sure you open up rehash and resign to make sure it works. You've got dev kit tools, you won't really be needing these. We need for, for developers to connect to their 360, and then they can test their applications, dump memory, stuff like that. You've then got the other tools, which is Game of Picture Pack Creator, which you can basically create your own gamer pack search Call of Duty Gamer Pictures hope it's searched, it does do well um, we'll do Black Ops gotta wait as it says on there, searching 
then when it finds them, you can oh, just on that or do World at War then. Wait for it to find some. I think it's because Black Ops ain't old yet, obviously. Well, no, I ain't find any. Well, basically, you do find some. There we go. Pick the ones you want. Let's wait for a few of them to load. Got a feeling I'm going to be here quite a while, actually. Okay, cancel. Um, click the ones you want. You can check them. Say so you want all them. You can save pack and that save them for you. Save it there. It just downloads them for you. It shouldn't take long just to download them really. You'll see it in just a second. So that create pack and that save up. There we go. And the pack's now there. The next thing and the last thing is the theme creator. Look, you can load your images in. I haven't really got any to put in. And then you just save theme, save it to device if you don't know where to pull it. And that'll just save the theme for you. Then you can activate it on your Xbox and pull it on. That's quite handy and fun to mess around with. You can edit your settings. There's not many things you can edit, up, but it still helps. You can then contact them for any problems you've got. I'm not too sure if they reply. I think I've reported something before and I never got a reply. But they might have been busy, I'm not sure, they might not have got it. Um, you've then got about the creators, special thanks, and moderators, administrators, and that pretty much it from audio there's nothing really else to it so thanks for watching if you want to see more videos um, subscribe please rate and comment I'll be making quite a lot more videos so if you want to stay updated just subscribe okay, thanks for watching until next time see you later